Philadelphia does not like what's going on with their alignment, and they will quickly use a timeout just 117 into this game. You made a good point, Mike, about the, the Titans confused them a little bit with that with that personnel group. Because of the down and distance, I think Philly was thinking that they were going to stay with Ball big people. They were going to spread yeah, it out and try to run it. That was a nice job then by the Titans. Let's see what the Eagles come up with now after taking their first time out. The Eagles so good on offense. Fourth in the league in total offense at 382 yards per game. 163 on the ground. 47% third down conversions. Number one red zone offense in the NFL. Really, really good in all areas. Three receivers and a bunch to the right. 47% third down conversions. Number one red zone offense in the NFL. Really, really good in all areas. Three receivers and a bunch to the right. Hurts in the gun. He's got Gainwell, the Memphis product, in the backfield. He's got speed. Brown motions left. Fulton chasing. And I think we've got procedure again. False start offense. Number 62. Five yard penalty. Still third down. So this brings it back to third down and nearly eight. We'll call it third and a long seven. Ola Adani has checked in to rush the passer from the left end spot. Gainwell on the left hip of Hertz. Hertz drops, feels some heat, fires downfield. Man is open at Smith, and he's run out of bounds by Avery outside the 45 yard line. At the 47, it's a gain of 19. Transcontinental, man to man. And transcontinental means from numbers to numbers. And he was wide open. Had a lot of time to throw then, Mike. On the ball quickly. Philadelphia. Quick throw, right side ball caught by Smith in Titans territory. Run out of bounds by McCrary. It's a gain of five yards. Those kind of throws, they're going to complete them, but you got to spot tackle them. That was an excellent spot tackle then. Second and five. Philadelphia converted a third and seven. They've already used a timeout. They've already committed two penalties, and we're just over two minutes into this game. Titans in a five defensive back set on second and five. Hurts going to throw it. Fires short of the middle to Gainwell. Gainwell with a great move at the 40. Slips a tackler, goes inside the 35 to the 34. First down Philadelphia, long trails to make the tackle. I just talked the previous play about a good spot tackle. That was not a good spot tackle. You're going to have to tackle these people where they dump the ball off. At the Titans 34. Hurts with a play fake under pressure, throws downfield, the pass is incomplete. Intended for Watkins, a blitzing hooker caused the poor throw. Yeah, he caused Hurst to back up, throw it off of his back foot. They were, again, another transcontinental. I'll be saying that quite a bit this afternoon, especially with those top of the number splits. That went across the field all the way. Good thing we had pressure. Second down and 10. Staying in five defensive backs, the Titans. Eagles with two receivers to the right, one to the left. Hurts puts Sanders in motion to the right. Hurts has time, throws deep downfield, going for Smith. He caught it at the two and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Devontae Smith beating Roger McCrary for a 34-yard touchdown. That was just one-on-one, -on -one and he had some time to throw. He ran a deep post on McCrary, and he put McCrary on his back hip and then ran away from him for the touchdown. This high-powered offense starts with high power, overcoming their own mistakes to score a touchdown, 75-yard drive in just 257. You've got to eliminate the explosive plays. You had two explosive plays in that series, ended up in a touchdown. You've got to choke that off. Elliott on to try the point, and Elliott's kick is up, and his kick is good. Philadelphia takes the game's initial possession 
for a touchdown. They lead Tennessee 7 to nothing with 12.03 to go in the first. Great protection for Jalen Hurts. And that leads to way too much time to find Devontae Smith for a 34-yard touchdown. Philadelphia sees Hurts go 5 of 6 in that first possession for 80 yards, overcoming two penalties and taking his team down for a score. Well, you said it just right, Mike. I mean, lack of pressure then. He was way too comfortable in the cylinder with both of those big throws. Got to get more pressure on him, especially when he's staying in the cylinder. 38 touchbacks on the year for Elliott, the kicker. So we'll see if C.J. Board gets a chance to return this. He's returning kickoffs today for the injured Hassan Haskins. He will not bring it out. The Titans offense will come out at the 25, up front, left to right. Dennis Daly, Aaron Brewer, Ben Jones, Nate Davis, Nicholas Petit Freer. Tight ends, Austin Hooper, Jeff Swain, Chigakonkwo. Wide receivers, Robert Woods, Nick Westbrook, Akine, Traylon Burns. Running back, Derrick Henry, and the quarterback is Ryan Tannehill. Titans moving right to left on your radio dial. Trailing from the jump. In motion, Hooper to the right. Give Henry at left guard two yards on the play. He's tackled there by Edwards, who only has 103 now. <laughs> For the Eagles defense up front, Josh Sweat, Javon Hargrave, Lendl, Joseph, Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham. Linebackers TJ Edwards and Hassan Riddick. In the secondary, Josiah Scott, James Bradbury, Darius Slay, Marcus Epps, and the rookie from MTSU, Reed Blankenship. Two safeties very deep. Going to give it to Henry again, and he will move forward at right guard to the 31-yard line, Bradbury with the tackle. First down, the Eagles were in a five-man front. Second down, they were in a four-man front. That's why the lag draw was run. We're going to have to stay ahead of the chain. We're going to see the five-man front probably on first down. This third down, we're going to see a four-man front. They don't blitz a lot, Mike, but they can get pressure, as you said, with those two edge guys. Eagles have 36 sacks on the year. Third down four, Dontrell Hilliard is in the game. Tannehill in the gun. Eagles jumping around on defense. Tannehill looks to his right, looks in trouble, and he is sacked. Riddick got there first, Hargrave finished it, and the Titans go three and out. Again, their edge pressure that they brought forced him to step up, and as he stepped up, they collapsed the center guard triangle. What did he want downfield? He wanted the, the corner route to his right. Covey is deep to catch this punt from Stonehouse. Stonehouse on the year averaging 53.1 per punt gross, 44.7 net. Snap is good, punt is away. A rocket, Covey chased back to his 17, comes left to the 20, has a wall, but then it ends as he crosses the 25 yard line and is taken down by Monty Rice. 27 yard line make that the 28 where the Eagles will start when we come back Eagles already with a seven to nothing lead here in the first quarter and they've got the football for a second time coming up Eagles seven, Titans nothing. Jalen Hurts to Devontae Smith. 34 yards for the touchdown on their first possession. Eagles staying in the shotgun, which they run 82% of the time. Sanders is the running back on Hurts' left hip. Brown in motion to the left. We give Sanders a carry. He runs at right guard, and he is just short of the 30-yard line. Let's give him two yards as Weaver has a tackle. They started out in a nine ball stack, which is three in a triangle. 
to the Titans left. It's an A.J. Brown in motion on fly motion. Nice job on that inside zone by our interior defensive line then. Grant Calcaterra is in at tight end. Good young pass catcher wide to the left. Three receivers wide to the right as Hertz empties the backfield. Hertz going to run it on the left side. The Titans stack it up pretty well as a Daney is there with contact. Gain of three. It'll bring up third down and five. As you called, wide, wide splits trying to get everybody out of there. Then that was a quarterback power run. They pulled the backside guard. That's a full quarterback power out of an empty set. Hertz weighs 223. Strong lower body. He's an excellent runner, even though he's not the tallest guy. Listed as 6'1", and that might be a bit generous. This is third down and five. Gainwell checks in in the backfield. He's on the right hip of Hertz. Hertz looks to throw deep downfield for Smith. Looked like that ball hit the ground. It did. Smith snagged it, but he snagged it as it was hitting the ground, as it was a wee bit low. Nice job on three and out. That's a big, 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 big series for the defense. You need some of these three and outs against these people, as prolific as this offense is. Now you need to answer on offense. That three and out is sponsored by LRS. Tackle your portable restroom and dumpster needs with LRS. Hunt comes downfield. Strong from the 21. He gets to the 30, and he is really smacked. Making that tackle is Ellis, Christian Ellis, just called up from the practice squad with a big tackle. And the Titans will get the ball back for a second time. 8-15 remaining first quarter. Philadelphia with a 7-0 lead here in Philly. Don't go anywhere. Your Titans line up for another play. This is the fullback, Henry is the tailback. Tight end, Raider motions to the right. Henry gets his third carry. He is hit and cut down by Blankenship. Make that Epps. 13 personnel, three tights, one wide, one back in an I formation. As you said, Aconco is the lead fullback. That was a lead to the weak side. The linebackers feel very, very quickly to stop that play. Well, they put Kazir White into the game. He was the other linebacker at West Virginia with David Long when they had such a great defense. He's a good run stuffer. Second down and nine at the 30. Tano with a blitz coming. Fires completing it, Westbrook Akine. This time it is blanket shift that makes the tackle after a gain of five to the 35. Nice job on the speed out to, to move the chains. You're gonna have to do that because of the rush that they have. Just move the chains and stay ahead of it. They're ahead of the chains now with third and four. Seven nothing Philadelphia, 7.15 to go as we play in the first quarter at Lincoln Financial Field. Three receivers to the right. Hilliard is in the game. Tannehill in the gun. Looks like a man was offsides. Free play. Tannehill goes back shoulder towards Burks. It's incomplete. We will wait on the call. Adrian Hill, your referee. Offside. Defense, number 94, five-yard penalty. It results in a first down. Moves the ball to the 40-yard line and gives the Titans the aforementioned first down. He tried to jump the tap. The, the guards have to tap the center because of the noise here. Defensive lineman jumped the tap. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Tannehill, play fake. Steps up, looking, looking, can run this thing. Tannehill 45-50, Tannehill 45 and down. 
He's tackled finally at the 43-yard line by Edwards. Gain of 17 and a first down. Nice job. Left defensive end came underneath, collapsed that side for the Titans. And then Tannehill keeping his eyes down the field, kept the pass alive, pick up a big first down. Still dealing with the high ankle sprain Tannehill, but he's clearly better. At the 43 of Philadelphia. Give Henry on the left side, one yard. White with the tackle. 12 personnel, that was a crunch play, which meant they bring a tight end across to block away from the run. That, that play was disrupted by the interior of the defensive front. Second down and nine, 559 remaining first quarter. Titans trying to knock the count. Two receivers to the left, two tight ends to the right. Tannehill in the gun. Henry on his left hip. Tannehill fires. Henry left flat, tackled immediately, and tackled well by Scott. It's a gain of two yards. Eagles were in man to man then. Scott was shadowing Henry the whole way out of the backfield. Third down and seven upcoming. Hilliard comes into the lineup. Westbrook Akine back in there along with Burks and Robert Woods. Tight end Hooper to the left, a standing tight end. Burks will come his way. The other two receivers to the right. Tannehill in the shotgun. Feeling heat. Fires deep left side. Too high for Hooper and incomplete. Defending blanket ship. Throw was too high. Tannehill could not quite step into that throw. They ran a little scissors route across the field, but the throw, as you said, was way too high. Titans going to go for it on fourth down and seven. On the year, Tennessee on fourth downs is four out of seven. Tannehill was headed toward the sidelines, immediately waved back out. Tennessee empties the backfield. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Philadelphia rushes four. Tannehill spreads out to his right. He can run for this thing. Tannehill 35, dives to the 31. It's a first down. Hargrave trails to make the tackle. Love the decision to go for it. Also like the fact that the right side of the offensive line is doing a nice job of collapsing the edge rusher back down inside to give us open space, open grass to the quarterback's right. We've seen it twice so far in this series. Tannehill in this ball game, two rushes, 25 yards. Henry, four for nine. Right now, he's the Jalen Hurts. Tannehill back under center, three receivers to the left. Play fake. Tannehill looking, looking, dumping it short. Henry juggling catch at the 30 yard line, and then he's tackled at the 26 by White. That's a nice gain on first down. I mean, that's exactly what you have to do. Play action, nice gain on first down. I talk about staying ahead of the chain. That's a chain mover there on first down. 3.47 to go first quarter. Eagles seven, Titans nothing, but Tennessee on the move. Woods and Akakwa wide to the left. Board and Swain to the right on second down and four. Going to run Henry on the left side, and he will dive forward for about a yard. Tackle made by Sweat. Brings up third down and three. Again, Sweat set the edge over there on that side, and that's that's what you do with a good defensive end. He set the edge, so it funneled it back inside to all the interior defenders. Titans have been converting on this drive. On fourth down is the big conversion. Here's the third and three throw. Tannehill pumps, throws for the end zone. Ball is... Did he catch it? There's a penalty marker in the end zone as Burks went up. I think they've signaled touchdown Titans! And Burks took a brutal hit in the end zone and a penalty marker has been thrown. Let's watch as we... 
could not tell there was an initial signal. Burks up with the catch, takes a brutal hit from Epps. As Epps hit him right in the face mask, Burks with a great catch to hold on. The official threw the flag, did not initially signal touchdown, and then did. What a big time combat catch, Mike. Huge. But he Burks. The field is a touchdown during the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 22. That penalty will be enforced with a try or kickoff. Time. And Burks is being tended to on the field. He took a brutal shot as he catches his first career touchdown pass. Burks with an absolutely great catch. He took a brutal hit in the end zone. The official threw his flag, walked up to look at Burks, and then saw he still had the ball, and finally signaled touchdown. The problem for the Titans, however, is that Burks has to be helped to the sidelines. He's right in the medical tent, and who in the world knows if he'll be able to return in this game. The Titans are going to take the penalty on the kickoff. That was a brutal, brutal hit, but that was a magnificent combat catch. I mean, that that was really, really an incredible catch with the force that he took that hit. 25-yard touchdown for Traylon Burks. Here's Randy Bullock back for the first time in three weeks to try the extra point. Snap, set, Bullock's kick is up, and his kick is good. 7-7 with 2.47 remaining in this, the first quarter. Nissan Drive Summary, 10 plays, 71 yards, 5.28 off the clock. That's the Nissan Drive Summary. Nissan is the official auto partner of your Tennessee Titans. A big part of that drive was, too, going forward on fourth down. Cannot afford to give the Eagles offense any more series than they earned. That was a big, big drive by the Titans. Burks went into the tent, and he is now headed to the locker room. Amy Wells, Pinnacle Sideline Report. Burks is moving pretty well. Can you tell anything? Mike, uh, he was in the medical tent. He's now heading towards the locker room. All that's correct. He's walking what looks to be okay. So I'll see officially what it is they're checking out. It could be something that they're looking at concussion things. They could be evaluating one of his extremities. I'll check it out. Okay, thank you. Titan's gonna kick off from the 50, and they're gonna hold it for Randy Bullock. Bullock kicks it high towards the corner. Here's Scott from the four. Titan's trying to pin him, and they're gonna do it at the 15-yard line. Nice tackle by Kalu. So the penalty does pay off in that. The Titans will start the Eagles backed up. Excellent job by Craig Ackerman and his crew. Very nice job. Take, they took the penalty, and then you've got to execute the pooch. They did it. We are being advised that he is officially being evaluated for a concussion. That's the word on Traylon Burks and why he was taken to the locker room. Hurts with Sanders back in the game at tailback on his right hip. Now in a 7-7 game. Sanders on the right side. Four yards as he's tackled by Strong. Offset inside zone came right over the right guard. They had combo blocks on that. That was a pure inside zone run with combo blocks working up to the second level. Second down, six yards to go. Watkins and Smith to the left, Brown to the right. Titans in a four-man front. And again, it looks like the Eagles have moved. I think they got Dickerson. False start, Austin's number 69. Five-yard penalty, still second down. So Philadelphia loses the four yards they picked up. You know, the left guard got a little froggy then and jumped early. Now five penalties, 35 yards already on the Eagles, a team that's averaging five for 44 per game. We're still in the first quarter. Second 11, Hurts fires across the middle, got it complete. 
This is Watkins, who's run out of bounds by McCrary with his first down slightly beyond the 25-yard line. Again, man-to-man, -man, crossers from the other side. I said we were going to talk about some transcontinentals across the field. If he has time to throw those, it's very hard in man-to-man -man on these guys. Titans switching personnel constantly. Andrew Adams now back in as the fifth defensive back. Playing the nickel right now is Hooker on first down. Hurts fading, firing deep downfield, going for Watkins, and Watkins cannot make the juggling catch. There is a marker down, actually make them two. And they might both be on the Titans. Looks like the quarterback took a shot at the end of the play, and there's some penalty on the Titans in the secondary as well. The penalty in the secondary came out first, and it happened, I think, even before the ball was thrown. It did. There were two fouls on the play, holding offense, wow. number 56. Pass interference, defense, number 31. Those penalties offset, replay, first down. So it was not a late hit. Well, that's a nice development. Let's just say that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. First and 10, we'll do it over again with 106 to go. First quarter, a 7-7 game from the link. Taking a lot of deep shots early, Mike. It's what we kind of expected coming into this thing. They have a back on either side of Hertz who remains in the shotgun. Play fake. In cut pass. There's Brown. And Brown will be tackled short of the 45 yard line. Making the stop is Adams. Brown's second catch. Again, we talked about in cuts off of this offense here. You had a chance to make a tackle right there at the second level, and we missed it, so now he gets yards after catch. You've got to spot tackle these people. Off of this offense, they can complete those short ones in the middle, spot tackle. Pistol formation now for Hertz. The back, Sanders. Four on the play clock. They snap it. They give it to Sanders around left end. Penalty marker down. And Sanders is in the Titans territory with his first down to the 46-yard line, along with the tackle. Let's wait and see what the penalty is. Again, Philly's been called for six in this quarter already. Five accepted. Is it an illegal shift? Illegal shift offense. Two men moved on the right side of the line and did not reset before the snap. Five yard penalty, replay, first down. It's just sloppy. Yeah, that's sloppy, and I hope they continue to slop. But that is certainly not like this team, oh, it's not, at it, least it, how it, they've been this year. That's not in their MO at all this season. Back at the 39 yard line, first and 15, as the first quarter clock is going to run out. So a lot happened in the first quarter. And after one, your score, Tennessee Titans seven, Philadelphia Eagles seven. Was around the league. It's three to nothing Texans over Browns as Deshaun Watson makes his Cleveland debut in Houston against his former team. Detroit has jumped out to a 14 to three lead over Jacksonville at Ford Field. It's rookie wide receiver Jameson Williams NFL debut off his recovery from an ACL injury. In the NFC North, the Chicago Bears lead the Green Bay Packers at home 10 to nothing. And in the NFC East, the Washington Commanders up 10 to three on the Giants. Denver leads Baltimore 3 0. Quarterback Tyler Huntley currently in for the injured Lamar Jackson. Pittsburgh up 6 0 on Atlanta. Philadelphia 124 total yards, 14 on the ground, 110 through the air. Titans with 67 total yards, 35 rushing, 32 through the air. Titans win time of possession in the first quarter by 18 seconds. Eagles, Nashville six knows how to get your heart racing, like seeing your favorite band. I know, I'm doing it.
four, your five, favorite team. Seven yards and a touchdown. And two rushes for 25 yards to begin. You got to continue to play this chain game here. Defense is ahead of the chains this down. And the pistol on first and 15. Hurts. Play fake rolling to his right. He can run this thing. Instead, he will throw it and complete it on the right side, out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Fulton with the tackle as the pass is complete to Smith, who did a little toe dance and then fell out of bounds. The left edge for the Titans defense got caught inside. I'm really kind of glad he just threw the ball. Looked like there was a lot more if he'd run it. Yes, it did. Smith kind of juggling that one, too. And now Vrabel's going to throw the flag. Third challenge of the year for Vrabel. And instead of second and six, he would very much like it to be second and 15. But it was a duck pass. And as he is going to the ground, Smith appears to still be juggling it and has to sort of bring his other hand over to cover it as he's rolling on the white. So there's some juggle. The ball is moving. The ball hits the ground. Time out on the field as we have a review. Mike Rabel was right. Devontae Smith was juggling it. It is not a catch. So it'll be second down and 15. Injured in a car wreck called Hughes and Coleman. Official injury lawyers of the Tennessee Titans for a free case evaluation at 800-800-4600. That's Hughes and Coleman, 800-800-4600. Mike Vrabel now two of three on challenges on the year, 11 of 21 in his career. He has won eight of his last nine. So instead of second and six, it's second and 15. Eagles at their own 39. Game tied at seven, 14.54 remaining in the first half. Hurts drops, fires deep down the middle, got it complete to Stoll at the 40, and he is tackled at the 35-yard line. Stole the tight end, his sixth catch of the year, tackled by Byer. Talked about keeping him out of the middle of the field. That was a seam route right down the middle. He had free access down the middle. Can't let that go on. Eagles get on the ball with a first down. And here's another penalty marker. Eagles not set. False start, offense, number 89. Five yard penalty, still first down. Philadelphia has been able to overcome these, Coach Mack, but at a certain point, they wear on your continuity, on your momentum, on your pace. Yeah, and you've got to take advantage of that defensively. Somehow you've got to use that to your advantage to be able to steal a series. That's what you have to do defensively, Mike. Brown wide to the right. Watkins and Smith wide to the left on first and 15 at the Tennessee 40. Blitz coming. Hurts taking a deep shot right side going for Brown who catches it. Touchdown, Philadelphia. The throw was carrying Brown towards out of bounds. And Brown was trying to gather it in and keep his feet in at least for two steps. Interested to see a replay as he beats Fulton on the stutter and go. Is the right foot in bounds? The left is, the right foot, looks like his toe might be on the line. His toe is on the line. They will wait and see if the official who looks at replays decides to take a further look at this. That was on the far side of the field from us, so we couldn't see for sure until there was a replay Left foot clearly down. The majority of his right foot is in bounds, but it looks like his toe may be out of bounds. Adrian Hill has not been buzzed yet. They are looking at it. 
Again, Adrian Hill is your lead referee. After review, it was determined that it is an incomplete pass. Yep. It was so obvious they didn't even need to call the referee over because the right toes are very clearly out of bounds. And so it'll be second and 15, just like the first review on this series. Absolutely, and you've got to take advantage of that. Like they are going downfield with the ball. We expected that coming in. As I said, those, those explosives, you've got to be able to contest them and win at least half of them. Titans won a challenge earlier in this sequence, but then gave up a 26-yard completion the very next play. And that's what you're saying about following it up. Follow it up. So Brown's 40-yard touchdown is disallowed. Second and 15 at the 40. Hurts drops, looks, he's got all day. He floats it downfield. Brown is all alone at the 10, at the five, and he will back into the end zone for a touchdown. A penalty marker has been thrown at the 31-yard line. Fulton is down, writhing in pain. Have to wait and see what the call is as the Titans training staff coming over to get him. So illegal contact is the call on Fulton. Brown's touchdown now will stand up. And the insult to injury, quite literally, is that Fulton is injured. That was another out and up move. That was another double move. And off of the out move, Fulton clearly impeded his progress. And got hurt in the process. 13-7 Eagles in what is a game without any rhythm at all. Fulton is going to walk off the field under his own power, but he is not having a good start to the day. That is the truth. For the Titans to have them second and 15 on multiple occasions after winning challenges to give up a touchdown there is not good. No, that's not the way you're going to be able to flip this field. Or beat a 10 and 1 team. That too. Elliott for point. His kick is up and his kick is good. So after all that, Philadelphia takes a 14-7 lead over Tennessee, still 13.55 remaining in a strangely paced first half. and two lost challenges drive 85 yards in seven plays hurts to brown for a 40-yard touchdown and the eagles lead 14 to 7. a 34-yard touchdown to smith and a 40-yard touchdown to brown there's too many explosives already mike elliott kicking off this is board from the one cj to the five to the 10 to the 15 to the 20 and it will be taken down just short of the 25-yard line by Bradley, a linebacker. So let's see if the Titans have an answer. They had a nice drive, 10 plays, 71 yards. Burks made the touchdown catch, but was looked like knocked out on the play. Yeah, I mean, he got hit right square in the face. Tremendous catch. Titans now short on wide receivers because they don't have Hollister today. So you're gonna see C.J. Board have to play wide out as well. He's in motion to the left right now. 
Play fake Tannehill. Looking, firing, and it's incomplete intended for Woods. Bradbury on the coverage. Bradbury had good coverage then. That was a that was a post corner route. They threw off of the play action. Good protection, but better coverage. Nobody has more passes defended in the last 10 years than James Bradbury. That's number 130. He was in textbook uh, position then on that one. Titans officially at the 23-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Henry in motion to the right. Hilliard still in the backfield on the left hip of Tannehill. Got his own defense here. Throw, catch, Hilliard. White with the tackle. It's a gain of about five as we pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Titans Radio. Eagles 14, Titans 7. Those four man rushed in, Mike. Five under two deep zone. Let's see what they deploy this time. Tannehill in the gun, three receivers to the right. Tannehill looking, looking, flushed out to his right. Looking, looking, pulls up and will be sacked. Fletcher Cox, the veteran, four-time pro bowler, gets him out of bounds. A loss of a couple. Wasn't a violent sack, but it was effective enough as Cox, blocked well by Petit Frere, just kept hustling and Tannehill just ran out of time and room. Yeah, I mean, nobody could get any separation. I mean, he was looking downfield the whole time. As you said, Cox was blocked initially, but as the play extended and nobody was getting clear downfield, Tannehill basically had to eat it on the sideline. Stonehouse to punt to Covey. Snap, kick, not great. Covey comes up, feels it at the 23, right up the middle of the 30. Got some room to the 40. Covey is taken down at the 44-yard line by Carter, not a good punt, and an excellent return. So the Eagles are the ones who get to flip the field. You know, and it, you said the punt, it, the problems all started with the punt was not very good. That way you're, you're out of sync with your coverage, and he was able to catch that thing and move upfield before the coverage ever got within five yards of him. Eagles lead 14 to seven, 12, 13 remaining in the first half. Monty Rice going to check in for the Titans now at the linebacker spot. Mike Vrabel giving the indication on his radio show the other night that he needed to see more of Monty Rice at linebacker. Four defensive linemen, two linebackers, five defensive backs. As Trey Avery is now in at the right corner in place of Christian Fulton. Play fake, deep drop, Hurts being chased. Hurts steps up, and Hurts will be sacked! Penalty marker down as Edwards with the quarterback sack, which means $100 to second Harvest Food Bank. Kroger is the official tailgate headquarters of the Tennessee Titans. Dickerson, by the way, hurt on the play. First little foul, unnecessary roughness defense, number 94. That 15-yard penalty will be added to the results of the play. Automatic first down. Wow. I've just seen the replay, and I have to be real honest. I don't get it initially. I don't get it at all. He was being tripped up, was Hurts, and Edwards fell on top of him. He was clearly not on the ground at that point. That's a bad call. Let's just say it like it is. That's a bad call. Let's take a look at it again. He's falling down. He does not hit him in the head. He falls over the top of him and barely makes contact. I don't, I'm not sure what they thought they saw, Dave. I, That's a horrible call. It's an absolutely horrible call. So here's Avery on A.J. Brown as the ball is now at the Titan 45. Hertz takes the snap, looks to his right, throws to the right flat, complete. Run out of bounds after a gain of about five yards by Byard. 
Sanders with the grab, Byard with the tackle, second and five. All right, you're going to have to stiffen up a little bit here. They took away a nice sack from you with a. Anyway, we've got to get them stopped. By the way, first penalty of the game on the Titans. It's very costly. And very questionable, too. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Sanders on the right hip of Hertz, now in motion to the left. Hertz looking deep right side, rolling back to his left, being chased by Strong, and he'll throw it away. Strong with good pursuit. It brings up third down and five. Excellent rush by Bud Dupree, first of all, to flush the quarterback up inside deeper into the cylinder than he wanted to go. And then, as you said, Strong did a nice job of taking a good angle so that the quarterback could not outrun him going laterally. Eagles, by the way, this year have gone 21 times on fourth down, so they may have two plays to make this one. They are one of two on third down so far. Quarterback run to the left. Penalty marker down. He's going to be right at the marker, but there is a flag down in the middle of the field thrown by the umpire. Eagles going to get hit again. Anytime an edge gets that clean. Holding offense. Number 62, 10-yard penalty, replay, third down. David Long Jr. is down on the near side of the field. And he is hurting, and we're going to have a timeout for the injury as the Eagles will be facing third and 15 when we come back. 11 minutes to go in the game. Eagles 14, Titans 7. They'll have to do it with that Christian Fulton again, as we mentioned. Amy Wells, Pinnacle Sideline Report. Why is Fulton not out there? Mikey, Christian Fulton officially has a groin and is questionable to return. He's been stretching a lot on the sidelines, trying to work it out. He still has his helmet, which is a good sign, but is questionable to return. So now Terrence Mitchell has come into the game as a sixth defensive back, joining Trey Avery, Amani Hooker, Roger McCrary, Kevin Byard, and Andrew Adams for this third and 15 from midfield. Hurts dropping, hit as he throws, and Brown can't catch it on the left side. It's incomplete. And I think they've called a penalty at the quarterback. Bud Dupree had a great pressure. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Number 48, 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. I guess you can't hit Jalen Hurts. I mean, that's really poor. These officials on both roughing penalties have been completely off base he didn't hit him high he didn't drive him really really poor poor officiating 14 7 calls. eagles 10 41 to go in the second quarter hurts dropping throws short batted down simmons And then somebody takes a pop on Simmons after the play. And there's no call. Simmons bats it down, and well after the whistle, somebody decides they're going to take a shot at Big Jeff. You described all of that correctly, and the most correct thing you said was no flag on that. Wow. He did not retaliate, fortunately. Second down and 10. Gainwell is now in the game. They go with a fly sweep, and it's Watkins. Adams knocks him out of bounds after a short gain. It'll be third down and about eight. 
Nice tackle by Adams. Great tackle, great a great leverage by, by Adams. There's been some strange, strange occurrences in this game. Brown and Watkins to the right, Smith to the left. Let's get him out of here. Four men set to rush for the Titans. A Danny came across. Was he drawn? He was. False start offense. Number 68. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Nine penalties for 60 yards on the Eagles. And I told you in the first quarter, for a game, they average five for 44. So they've almost doubled what they normally do 20 minutes into the game. Now third and 13. What a shot for the Titans. They got to make it count at some point. Three receivers on the right, two to the left. Six defensive backs for Tennessee. Hurts steps up, big chase, big hit, fumbles. The Eagles get back on it at the 40. Dupree with the sack. And the forced fumble, $100 to Second Harvest Food Bank from Kroger, the official tailgate headquarters of the Tennessee Titans, and the Eagles will be forced to punt. Great job by Bud Dupree. That entire series, Mike, he was bringing it from the right and the left side. That was an excellent, excellent play. You said they needed to take advantage. They took advantage of that. Now let's take advantage of this offensively. C-Post is the punter. Very good getting him inside the 20. Board is deep. Snap is good. Seat post a little end over ender. Board will fair catch it outside the 10. So the Titans defense keeps Tennessee in it. 14-7, Eagles leading, 8.49 to go first half. Game the Titans, 192 to 70. Lead 14 to seven as Tennessee gets the ball back at their own 13. Mike Keith, Dave McGinnis, Brett Bryan, Amy Wells, Lucas Panzica, Brad Willis, Philip Noel. We're here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. 8.49 to go in the first half. Tights without Traylon Burks, who was knocked out as he caught a touchdown pass and has not returned. Raider is the fullback in front of Henry. Eight in the box as Henry runs to the right, finds some room. Finally, across the 15-yard line, just beyond the 18, it'll be second down. Eight-man front, got a little push off the right side of the offensive line, got Henry into his fourth step. Got nearly six on the play. Edwards made another tackle. Edwards, the fourth year backer out of Wisconsin, is a tackling machine. On second down. Play fake. Tannehill looking, stepping up, can run this thing. He's got the first down, and he will run out of bounds as he crosses the 25-yard line. And the Titans have a first down. Boy, oh, that's the advantage of a veteran quarterback. He did not panic in the cylinder then. The coverage was not there. Protection was really good. Opened up an inside lane for him through the left B gap. Took it for a first down. Nine yards for Tannehill, who's now rushed three times for 34 yards in the game. Raider again is the fullback. Titans have two receivers to the right. Henry starts right, comes back to the left. Nice game as he is across the 30-yard line. Bradbury will finally get him on the ground at the 33. Eagles jumped into a five-man front then on first down. But that's what you're talking about, Coach. Five yards on first down. Nothing wrong with that. No, it's perfect, especially against a loaded front. Akakwo, Hooper, and Westbrook Akine in a bunch wide to the left on second and five. Play fake, quick screen, nearly intercepted 
dropped incomplete. Bradbury would have scored a touchdown as they were trying to quick screen to a Conquo, and the veteran Bradbury read it all the way. He read that tunnel screen quick. I mean, that's he, he K and D or Key and diagnosed that thing so fast. I think it caught on top of him quicker than he thought it would. Westbrook Akine didn't get him blocked, but at least grabbed his arm so he couldn't intercept it. Third down and five. 6.48 remaining in the half. Tannehill takes the snap, looking, firing. There's Hooper on the left side with a catch. Makes the grab at the 40 and goes out of bounds at the 41. McPherson chasing him, but it's a first down for Tennessee. Nice stick out route against man-to-man -man coverage. Really well timed by the quarterback. Good, good protection on the inside. Hooper ran a nice route, set him up, first down. Hooper's 25th catch of the year. Keeps the clock moving, gives your defense a chance to rest as well, and hopefully you're moving towards a tying score. Henry, seven carries, 21 yards, back in at tailback. Play fake, Tannehill. Looking deep down the middle, there's a Akakwa breaks a tackle at the 40, a Akakwa to the 30, a Akakwa to the 20, and he is finally taken down by Edwards inside the 20 yard line. They will put the football down at the 17, and the Titans have entered the Pinnacle scoring zone. For more on Titans Banking for Pinnacle, visit TitansBanking.com for all the details. Really well executed trap pass. That was as perfect as you could do it. Akakwo dropped his man. The trap pass where you pull a guard across the center gives you a little extra time and protection. Very, very well executed by the Titans. And now they're in the red zone. Now they have to get back to scoring touchdowns, Coach. Absolutely right, Mike. After the 41-yard gain, play fake. Tannehill screens it. Henry at the 15. Henry tackled at the 13, fumbled the football. It's been recovered by Ben Jones back at the 17. Now they're going to say it's an incomplete pass. Going on the field is an incomplete pass. Second down. Second down and 10. Yeah, I wasn't sure he had a control of that enough, but let, uh, Ben Jones, I mean, what a valuable dude everywhere on the football field. Yeah, Derek had never put it away right. when it was stripped by White. It was going to be second and 10 at the 17 anyway. Two tight ends to the right. Tannehill takes the snap, looks, fires right side, pass is caught inside the 10. Hooper with the grab. I think he's out of bounds as Slay got him out at the eight. He's a yard short of the first down. Again, nice protection and a nice job by Hooper. He's setting those guys up for coverage. That was an excellent, excellent on the mark pass by Tannehill. Titans get on the ball with 448 remaining in the half. Eight in the box on third and one, and a Titan moves. It's daily. Penalty markers down. False start, offense, number 71. Five yard penalty, still third down. So now you have third and six. It's an unforced error that, I mean, you just, you can't do it. You just cannot do it. Well, the Eagles have overcome their mistakes, coach, so. The Titans need to do the same. Absolutely. Board is wide to the left with Westbrook Akine. Now Woods motions that way. Hooper goes wide to the right. Tannehill with time. It's breaking down. He's in trouble, and he will be taken down at the 18-yard line by Sweat. He could not find what he wanted. And Tannehill has to eat it. Well, third and one, your defensive calls change completely at third and six down here, especially in the red zone. They can squeeze it. I mean, just to have an unforced error to take you out of third and one, not, not good. 36-yarder, middle of the field. This is Randy Bullock, who's 11 of 13 on the year. Trying to make it a 14-10 game. Bullock's kick is up, and his kick is right 
down the middle. Good! Eagles 14, Titans 10, 3.28 to go. First half as we play at the link. Nice drive for the Titans, 10 plays, 69 yards, 5.21 off the clock. That's the Nissan drive summary for the Titans. Nissan, official auto partner of the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, very well, very well orchestrated drive to get down there. But as you said, you get in the red zone, especially going this time of year, you got to score touchdowns. Well, and the Titans have lost the magic there, unfortunately. Well, and, and I felt like we had a really good chance at it at third and one. Instead, Daly moves, making it third and six. And then Tannehill can't find who he wants, has to eat it for a sack. Who was he looking for in the end well, zone? Well, he's looking for the corner route, but as I said, you can play defense differently okay. on third and six. I didn't know if there was a particular guy that you thought he was trying to go to or if everyone were covered. Bullet kicking off. Scott backs up and lets it go for a touchback. Eagles with two timeouts, Titans with three. 3.28 to go. In the half, a 14-10 game. Hurts 11 of 17, 183, two touchdowns. Most surprising stat to this point, Hurts one carry, three yards. Yeah, and that, that's completely opposite from what they had been doing, but they're a little bit opposite what they've been doing with all the penalties, as you've been calling in the first half so far. Nine for 60 yards to begin. Hurts. Going to swing it out on the right side. Got it to Sanders. Sanders will go outside the 30. Let's see where they spot him out of bounds. I think they're going to give him the 33, so it's a gain of eight. A swing pass with immediate blocks downfield. And that, that, they're just, that's their run game right there right now. And they have only four rushes total, by the way. Sanders three for 11. Hurts one for three. They're choosing to go right at the Titans secondary. On second down and two. Hurts staying in the gun. RPO on the left side to Watkins, and he is taken down by Avery on a good tackle at the 39-yard line. That's a great tackle by Avery. He came underneath the block on the RPO on that side and got him by the ankle. Gain of six of first down. 2.40 remaining in the half, clock counting. Brown wide to the left. Watkins and Smith wide to the right. Hurts looking, firing over the middle, pass is low. It's caught by Stoll, the tight end. Stoll makes the reception at the 46 yard line. Hooker and Simmons combined to get him down as the Eagles will try to run one more play before the two-minute warning on what will be second down two. They are not going to run another play before the two-minute warning. And so two minutes remaining in the first half. Eagles with the ball leading the Titans in Philadelphia, 14 to 10. Trail 14 to 10, just ahead, stats, scores, and cover two with Coach Mack. It's on the way on Titans Radio's Halftime Report, powered by the Tennessee Lottery here in just a few minutes. So the Titans right now, without Christian Fulton, he left with a groin injury. Without David Long, who is questionable to return with a calf injury. And then without Traylon Burks, who was knocked out on his touchdown catch, and he's in the locker room being evaluated for a concussion. Two minutes to go first half. Eagles with the ball at their own 47, second down and two. Hurts, gonna give it to Gainwell on the right side. He's got the first down and a lot more. The 5'9", 200 pounder inside the 50. Inside the 45, taken down just before he reaches the Titans 40 by Adams. Yeah, the inside zone lag draw, he hit a hole really, really quick. Was able to get by the defensive front very, very quickly. He might be the more modern version of Sproles for them. Hurts dropping, looking, throws short, caught by Gainwell. 
Schobert will combine with Cole to get him on the ground at the 30. Clock's still running. We're at a minute 18. Eagles in no big hurry because they have two timeouts. Hurts going to throw it on first down again. Looking, rolling to his left, throwing downfield, going back shoulder for Brown, and Avery didn't know where the ball is. There's a penalty marker down. He just couldn't locate it. Couldn't locate it. Plaster coverage. You've got to be able to know that the quarterback's going to find that guy down there. And then that, that was the correct call then. Puts the ball at the six-yard line. First and goal with a minute two to go. Here comes Boston Scott into the game. Boston Scott is another of the good backs that they have. Scott, 5'6", 203. Fourth-year man out of Louisiana Tech. He's on the left side of Hurts. Sanders on the right side. Snap, quarterback draw. Hurts running right up the middle is met at the two and driven backwards. He took a big pop from Bayer. Timeout on the field. See who called it. Timeout, Tennessee. Yes. They're first. Good hit by Byer driving him back and holding him up so some other guys can take a shot. He's a runner at that point, so he does not have the quarterback protection. Doesn't have protection, but I mean, you know, Kevin Byer diagnosed that perfectly, and he diagnosed it, first of all, off the splits. Anytime they get numbers plus splits, and I mean the receivers are split outside of the numbers, that's a giveaway down here as far as for that quarterback draw or quarterback power. Nice job by Byer. 56 seconds remaining in the half. Eagles 14, Titans 10. Ball just inside the three. Number 51 reporting eligible. That's Cam Jurgens. Jurgens was their second round pick. He's a center out of Nebraska. He is lined up as a tight end on the right. Eagles are in the pistol. Now they go shotgun. Here goes Hertz, running to the right side, getting to the outside and scoring. Jalen Hertz, a touchdown run of three yards. And on the year, Hertz has now been able to run for nine scores. Condensed the formation and Hertz, that was a run all the way, as you called, took off, got the edge, was able to get the edge off of the Titans' left defensive side, hit the pylon, touchdown. Elliott comes on to attempt the extra point. Hertz has thrown for two, has run for one. And the Eagles have overcome a lot of penalties to take what is now a 10-point lead. Elliott to try to make it 11, and he does. 21, Philadelphia, 10 for Tennessee. Philadelphia with 243 yards of total offense to the Titans, 144. The Titans have 51 seconds and two timeouts. Well, let's see what they let's see what they can do with it. You know, we're, we're, we talk about explosive plays in the game. This game has been explosive plays. It's been a little bit of help from the officials, which we won't talk about again. But the explosive plays that you've given up and really being a, unable to score a touchdown when you got into the red zone, it's going to start to add up on you if you don't get that stop. Titans will get the ball to start the second half. So even a field goal here at 21-13 would be important. Absolutely. Elliott to kick off. Ford is deep. CJ getting a lot of work today with Traylon Burks going out injured. Elliott kicks it downfield, hits it well. Ford will let it go wisely. And the Titans will start first and 10 at the 25. Tannehill has had a decent first half. 
He's run very well, three rushes, 34 yards. That has made a huge difference. He's kept the drives alive with his, with his legs. Akatwo joins Woods going to the right. Westbrook Akine wide to the left. Tannehill in the shotgun, takes the snap, feels heat, fires, incomplete. Intended for Hooper, batted away by Blankenship. Blankenship had a great, great transition on the ball. They dropped down from a two-shell look to a four-under, three-deep zone. Blankenship did an excellent, excellent job of triggering off that directional delivery key in zone defense. Native of Athens, Alabama, Reed Blankenship, standout player at Middle Tennessee State. Second down and 10. Tannehill. Pumps, rolls to his right. Rolling, firing, and incomplete. Intended for a Conquo, Scott defending. Now you have a problem. Now you have a problem. Because it's third down and 10. 39 seconds still remaining. Elliott is a kicker with a lot of leg. You need a first down badly here because you don't want to give them points. No, you don't. And, and the Eagles have two timeouts left, too. And the ability to go down the field. Empty backfield. Tannehill firing, completing to Woods. Tackled by Blankenship at the 31. He does not have the first down. Timeout, Philadelphia. Well, 34 seconds to go. I guess the only good part of that is you did force them to take the timeout by gaining six yards. Well, here's where Stonehouse has got to show up with his leg now. Covey had a 20-yard punt return his last time. And that, he, was, that was off of a poor punt, too, Mike. Eagles 21, Titans 10. Stonehouse. Getting ready to punt it away again. On fourth down at four. Eagles gonna go after Stonehouse. Here they come. Stonehouse's punt is away. It's a low line drive missile. At the 10 yard line, Covey up the sidelines to the 20. Run out of bounds by Cole as he crosses the 25. It was a good return, but he hit it so well. I mean, the punt was 59 yards that even a 16 yard return is not a bad thing because you force him to take time off the clock and you get 43 yards net out of it. It's a heads up by the returner though, going out of bounds. Here's Hertz. Titans dropping back. Eagles one time out. Hertz fading, throwing short, Gainwell at the 30. Gainwell is hit as he reaches the 40 yard line and is taken down at the 41. Timeout Philadelphia, fired with the stop. Again, this kicker, he had a 61-yarder to beat the Giants here in September of 2017. In his career, he's 16 of 26 from 50-plus. He also has a 58-yarder and a 59-yarder. So they are 20 yards short of being in that kind of range. And he's got, he's got the leg as you just laid out for us. Three receivers to the right, stole the tight end to the left. Scott is in it running back. Hurts dropping, throwing for Scott. He's got five yards out of bounds in front of Hooker to the 45. 14 seconds remaining in the half. Titans need a play inbounds. Need a play inbounds. You said the truth there. Zach Pascal, the former Titan and Colt, 
coming into the lineup as a wide receiver. He will join Smith on the right. Brown wide left with Stoll. Scott stays in the game in the backfield on the left hip of Hurts. Hurts wings it downfield, incomplete. He was going for Stoll, overshot him. Defending on the play, Avery with help from Adams. Nine seconds to go. Nice job of overlap coverage in that zone defense. Because Hertz had a chance to step up inside the pocket to throw that one. This is third down and five. Hertz does not have the kind of arm that if they don't gain another yard, he can probably throw the deep ball. It's not really what he's about. Mike Vrabel's going to use his second timeout right here. In a 21 to 10 game with the Eagles trying to build on their lead, nine seconds to go in the first half. Are the other one o'clock games over by now? Feels like this first half has gone on forever. Oh, we've had so many penalties. Well, and two reviews. Two reviews. A couple of injuries that took time, including Traylon Burks being laid out on his touchdown catch, which if you're just joining us, he got hit right in the face, making a 25-yard touchdown catch. The official threw the flag before he walked over to see if Burks had caught it. And then very gingerly signaled touchdown. They're going to give it to Scott running on the left side. And Scott will run out of bounds short of the first down. With three seconds to go, it's fourth and one. As he's out of bounds at the 49. Kelsey pulled him out of bounds, too. He did. Kelsey, the center, got over there in front of him and then pulled him out of bounds. So now they're going to take a deep shot. Here comes Westbrook Akine in as one of the deep guys. Titans will send five guys back. And now Brable will use another timeout. So both teams have used all their timeouts. We've had 416 yards of total offense. The only thing we haven't had is a turnover. Had a lot of other occurrences. By the way, I'm told three games are already in the third quarter. Not shocking. Titans four penalties, 59 yards. Philadelphia nine for 60. Titans gonna have to figure out some things at halftime if they're gonna have a chance. Because right now, in spite of the mistakes, the Eagles just have too much firepower. Quick throw, right side, Smith. Smith 40, Smith 30, Smith 20. Hit from behind and taken down. I think it was Schobert and Cole who combined to get him as he reached the 17-yard line. So Hurts' stats got better, but the Eagles' point total did not. At halftime, Philadelphia Eagles 21, Tennessee Titans 10. Titans and Eagles from Lincoln Financial Field here in Philadelphia. Titans trailing this one 21 to 10. A couple of the numbers from the first half. Titans actually outgaining them on the ground and rushing 55 to 37, but 300 passing, uh, 300 total yards of offense for the Eagles, doubling up the Titans with 150. They have nine penalties, the Titans have four penalties. Titans won the toss. They elected to defer their option to this half, so they will get the ball to begin the third quarter. And here to call the second half of this one, the voice of the Titans, Mike Heath, and, of course, our head coach, Nate McGinnis. So here we go. The Titans stymied by problems on third down, problems not being able to get Derrick Henry going, seven carries, 21 yards, by the fact that Jalen Hurts has thrown for 234, it has hit several downfield passes, both touchdowns over 30 yards. I mean, just absolutely not the formula for how you're going to win here. They've got to flip the script in the second half. Yeah, the first thing they got to do is they got to eliminate those explosive plays through the air. That's been a big issue. And then, I mean, we've talked about it. You, you move it against this defense and get in the red zone, you've got to come away with seven points because you're facing an offense that can move it pretty quickly. 
Elliott to kick off. Board is deep. CJ from the two to the five, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. And man, does he take a hit outside the 20 yard line. My goodness. Wow. That tackle by number 17, Nicobe Dean, the rookie out of Georgia. Wow. That was a hit. Yeah, we're pretty high up here, and we could both hear that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Nicobe Dean. He's got that yes, kind of is. talent. Yes, he does. He's not even really playing for him on defense. It's because they got better players than him on defense. Right now. Right now. <laughs> I think he's going to be okay. Got a five man front again, Mike. At the 22. Knight's going to try Henry on the right side. Henry starts outside, comes back in, is hit by Slay. It's a two-yard game. Thought that five-man front had opened up pretty quickly, but it closed very quickly, too, by Slay. I mean, had everybody blocked but the corner, and Slay threw himself right into the open hole. Former Detroit line Darius Slay playing great football right now for Philadelphia at left corner. Both backs in the game on either side of Tannehill, who's in the shotgun. Second down and eight. Tannehill pumps, throws, complete to Woods. He lost the ball. And let's see, are they going to rule it incomplete? They are ruling it incomplete. The initial ruling is incomplete pass. As Woods, according to the officials, never put it away. Woods has it, but... It's being ripped away as he's taken to the ground by 57 Edwards. I think they may challenge this. Philadelphia may challenge it. Yeah, they have. So Philadelphia is going to challenge it with 14-11 to go. Let's go to Amy Wells with Pinnacle Sideline Report. Mike, no Traylon Burks on the sidelines here in the second half. That's the guy that we're watching for the most right now. I'm going to get some information. I'll get back to you. Yeah, I have a feeling. I mean, if he's, he went out right after it all happened, Philadelphia is challenging that it was a fumble and a clear recovery for the Eagles. And so here we go. Entered in a car wreck called Hughes and Coleman Injury Lawyers for a free case evaluation at 800-800-4600. 800-800-4600 or HughesandColeman.com. After review, the ruling on the field stands as an incomplete pass. Philadelphia will be charged with their first time out. Third and eight upcoming as Woods is ruled to have not possessed the ball, so it was not a fumble. Worth the shot if you're the Eagles leading 21 to 10. Early in the third, you would have gotten the ball at the Tennessee 21. I'm gonna say, especially with that field position. Here's Tannehill. Titans just two of seven on third downs. Tannehill drops under pressure. He's going to be sacked again. Reddick, Hargrave, Sweat. Yeah, that was that was a complete tsunami up front. Then they just brought it. Third and eight. That was a four man four man rush. But they just absolutely collapsed the center of that cylinder quickly. Covey is deep. Stonehouse to punt it. Stonehouse, wobbly spiral, chasing Covey back to the 23-yard line. He goes up the middle of the 30. He gets outside to the 40, and he's going to be run out of bounds by a cock ball around midfield. And again, a decent punt, Mike, but it was in, wasn't in the air very long. Your coverage has got to get down there. 
and they gave up the middle and the edge. That was a middle bounce all the way. Amy Wells, Pinnacle Sideline Report. Are we going to see David Long or Christian Fulton with the defense right now? Mike, it doesn't appear that we are going to see either one. Christian Fulton is currently still on the sidelines. Haven't seen David Long yet. There's a chance he's still in the locker room. 29-yard return to midfield. Hurts. Fires right side. Smith on the quick screen. Smith spinning away from tackles. Is finally taken down by Adams. Just short of the first down at the 40. Looked like Tart was going to get him about the 45. But the 170-pounder somehow spun out of the tackle as the Titans were able to knock one another off of Smith. Second and very short. Quick throw, right side, Brown. Run out of bounds by McCrary at the 35-yard line. Little quick out. Again, we saw that tunnel screen that you just described. If you'll tackle it where he catches it, you've got a better chance. Spun off of it, makes it second one. All favor goes to the offense then. Hertz has thrown for 278 yards so far. Hertz fires short, caught by Stoll at the 29-yard line, tackled by Rice. The interesting thing about Hertz, he only has 200, 300-yard passing games in his career. So this is not really what they do. They're normally very balanced. They're very balanced, and they normally start with the run. They have not this game so far. Just eight carries total. Hurts going deep, left side going for Brown, and Brown caught it off the back of Avery for a touchdown. Touchdown catch for A.J. Brown. At 12.07 to go in the third, the Eagles have extended their lead to 17. Well, that was a completely contested catch. A.J. Brown won. Avery right with him, and Brown just reached over the top of Avery. One of the things that everybody liked about Brown coming out of Ole Miss, extremely long arms. You saw him there, and he grabbed the ball literally off of Avery's back. Here's Elliott for point. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Philadelphia 28, Tennessee 10, as we play early in the third quarter at the link in Philadelphia. Four plays, 50 yards. Hurts to Brown, a 29-yard touchdown. And it's 28-10 Eagles, 12.07 to go in the third quarter. Elliott set to kick off. Ford is deep. Kick comes downfield. Ford from the one. To the five, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. It will be tackled at the 23-yard line. We pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Titans Radio. Philadelphia Eagles have thrown for 313 of their 350 total yards. Hurts with three touchdown passes. And the Eagles lead the Titans early in the third, 28-10. Titans start this drive at their own 23. Play fake, Tannehill rolling to the right throws, Akakwo at the 30, and up the sidelines goes Chick Akakwo to the 33-yard line, and up for a first down, gain of 10. Tackle by action. Epps. Play action off, I'm sorry, Mike. Play action off the wide boot to his throwing hand. Nice throwing catch, first down. Tannehill gets his team on the ball. Philadelphia stays in a five-man front. Going to get Henry a carry. And Henry will move the pile forward for three yards after the 36. 
First contact by Williams, a defensive lineman. It's second down and seven. They're going tempo here, Mike. Down 18 early in the third. Just trying to get something going, the Titans. Two tight ends to the right. Play fake. Tannehill looking. In trouble. Sack. Brandon Graham, 13th year man out of Michigan. Yeah, and I believe he got Tannehill from behind right around that ankle, too. Tannehill trying to walk it off as the Titans will face third down. Looks like Tannehill is okay for now. Third and 13. Crowd's having fun in Philadelphia. They feel confident they're on the way to 11 and one. Give on a delay, just a draw play. Hilliard for three yards, trying to sneak him through, but they couldn't get him by Graham, and the Titans will have to send on the punt team. Covey is deep to catch another punt, and he has been outstanding returning punts in this game. Four for 74 yards, his last one, 27 yards. You gotta be able to, you gotta be able to put a stopper in that. Punt is away. Wobbly spiral doesn't turn over. Covey from the 12 to the 15, outside of the 20, to the 30, to the 35, and a cockwell will get him out of bounds before he reaches the 40. But it's another 25-yard-plus return for Covey. And the Philadelphia Eagles have good field position again. 9.36 remaining third quarter. Eagles lead 28-10. to 10. Mike Vrabel's Titans keep playing this one when we return. This is Titans Radio. Titans back with football inside their own 30. Doing some work on Ryan Tannehill on the sidelines. Amy Wells, did he get a get a tape job on that ankle? Yeah, Mike, it's just a tape job, and they haven't seemed to be looking at him too much beyond that. So hopefully not a big deal. All right, so he's back out there. Tannehill and the Titans down 18 with 8.37 remaining in the third. They got to get going. Henry's 10th carry on the right side, two, maybe three, and that's been the story all day. It's been the story all day. That, that was a four-man front, but what happens is now is they're bringing, the, they brought the safety back down on the other side, so it ended up with eight people in the box, and they're not being able to get any push. A couple of the Eagles are down. One in particular, Reddick looked like he was dinged up. I think he's okay, but is that Kazir White, the linebacker, 43? I think it is. The Titans going to face second and seven at their own 32-yard line. So as you said, Mike, they need some traction offensively for two reasons. Clearly, we're down by 18, but you've got to extend some series here to give your defense a little bit of a rest, too, because this offense from the Eagles has been going full tilt from the start. Eagles have outgained the Titans so far in this game, 348 to 155. Yeah, all of that through the air. All of that through the air. It's been remarkable. Eagles came into this game averaging 163 on the ground. They have 35 yards on the ground, in part because they really haven't tried to run. Well, that's because of the six explosive plays they've had, Mike. Henry gets the carry, crosses the 35. Late flag comes in as Henry is down at the 36-yard line. It would be third and three if it's not on the Titans, but it appears to be. Holding offense, number 64. 10-yard penalty, replay, second down. So right guard, Nate Davis. Yep. So instead of third down and three, 
as Davis had the outside of the shoulder pad of Nicobe Dean, who's in it linebacker now. Once you get outside that cylinder on, on the shoulder pads, they call it every time. Second and 15. Four-man front for the Eagles. Tannehill firing quickly, Swain with the catch. 25, and Swain reaches forward to the 27, maybe the 28-yard line. Tackle by N'Kobe Dean. That's actually his first tackle as a linebacker this year. All of his other work has been as a special teamer. Third got, down and 11 upcoming. He's got a lot of tackles as a linebacker in his future. But this is where the Titans don't want to be predictable because the Eagles have just teed off on Tannehill in these situations. Rushing four, Tannehill. They make a sandwich out of him at the 18-yard line. I mean, he had not hit his fifth step when Sweat got there, and Tannehill really took a shot. I mean, this was ugly. Hassan Reddick and Sweat, the two outside backers, absolutely crunched it. No, you had, you had three of the four down linemen that rushed on top of the quarterback immediately. Well, that's not good. Cox to snap it, Stonehouse to punt again. Covey is deep. Stonehouse hits a high spiral. Covey from the 26 to the 30. And the Titans, Joe Jones, will get him down at the 32-yard line. The thing that helped with that one was you had some height on that punt. You did. You had some height on the punt. That way your coverage team was able to eat up some grass. 6-18 remaining in the third quarter. Philadelphia 28-10. They have scored a touchdown in the third quarter on a pass from Jalen Hurts to A.J. Brown of 29 yards. It was only a 50-yard drive because Britton Covey set him up with a 27-yard punt return. Covey with now over 100 yards in punt returns in this game. Punch set of three receivers to the left. Hurts going to throw it again. Flushed out to his left. Fires to Brown, who makes the catch and is forced out of bounds by Avery at the 39-yard line. He was able to spin out away from his throwing hand. Lost a little bit of the edge over there on the outside to our defensive right. Brown now over 100 yards receiving in this game, six for 102. Devontae Smith, five for 102. Hertz has thrown 32 passes, completing 23. Now they're gonna give Sanders a carry. Sanders will get his first down as he steps out of a tackle and is finally brought down at the 43-yard line by Chobert. That gets them now to 10 carries, and I just mentioned that Hertz has 32 passes. For the longest time, they had only run Sanders three times at Hertz once in the first half. They were stuck on four rushes forever. Now you would figure they will try some more as we move deeper into the third quarter, and they're likely to try to kill some clock. I think you're correct. Four receivers in a bunch to the right. Brown wide left. Empty backfield hurts. Titans rush four. Hurts fires. There's Brown. He gets away from Avery. Adams grabs him, won't let go, and tackles him at the 47-yard line. And now Brown's going to go after Adams. Kelsey grabs Brown and calms him down. As you call it, they had a four-man quad stack over their way. Just put Brown numbers plus by himself over here. Where he is again, same look. Well, with that look, that means it's just Avery and Brown, as you say, Titans trying to get Adams over the top of him. But they are spreading them out big time with 420 remaining. Hertz is going to run. Penalty marker as he's got the 40, and he's out of bounds in front of Schobert to the 36. It's got to be a hole. Doesn't have to be, but I think it is. Holding offense, number 69. 
10 yard penalty replay first down 69 landed dickerson a second round pick a year ago it's an interesting football career here's landon dickerson hickory north carolina five-star player goes to florida state plays well when he plays but he's hurt a lot and then he goes to alabama and just makes a ton of money in his one year with the crimson tide and now he's starting at guard here for a very good football team got healthy at the right time hurts fires down the middle it's caught calcaterra the rookie tight end makes the grab and is taken down at the mark right at the 36 yard line by byard does he have enough for a first down? Let's see. It's gonna be second and short. That was that was that was that was uh, four seams against two deep. 19 yards receiving there for Calcaterra. Sanders gonna get a carry. I don't know. He is hit by Edwards. If he got the first down, he didn't get it by much. Third down. He did not get it. Titans hanging in there with three minutes to go in the third, down 28 to 10. Well, earlier in the game, you know, they, 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 they'll go. They got four, another two downs here, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Hurts gives it to Sanders, and they get him down, but he falls forward, should have the first down. Schobert and Cole grabbed him. And they just could not pull him backward. Correct. Jalen Hurts, 25 of 34 for 355. He has also run for a touchdown. He has three touchdown passes, no interceptions. Sacked twice. Hurts goes with the flip play. Going to Watkins to the 35. And Byard will run Watkins out of bounds inside the 30, inside the 25, with a first down to the 24-yard line. See, Quez, Watkins' speed then, as soon as he got that flip pass, as, as you correctly called it, I mean, he hit that edge really, really fast. Quez Watkins got some good advice from a parent, his dad telling him, hey, look, you're playing with a Heisman Trophy winner and A.J. Brown, who's the quarterback's best friend. You just hang in there and keep doing what you're doing. You'll get some passes. Yeah, and keep running fast. Watkins, four catches, 34 yards. Boston in the backfield. They hand it to Watkins. They hand it to Smith. He throws back to Hertz. He throws across the field to Watkins. He will be taken down by the hustling Cole after what amounts to a three-yard gain. Yeah, that was a lot of stuff going on for three yards. They wanted to throw it deep. It was covered deep very well. And Watkins, pitch Smith, pitch back Hurts, throw left side Watkins, and the Titans smelled it pretty well. Under a minute to go in the third quarter, Philadelphia leading by 18. Hurts taking his time. He's got Sanders on his left hip. Two receivers to the right, Brown to the left. Hurts. Fires for Brown, who makes the catch at the 15, and he is met by Avery and Adams at that point. Close to a first down. We'll see where they mark it. Philadelphia does not have to run another play in this quarter, do they, if they do not want to. Sorry, they're, Coach. They're on the ball quick. They're on the ball because it is third and one. 15 seconds and counting. Hurts barking it out, and I think there is movement. The Eagles say it's on the Titans, and the Titans say it's on the Eagles. Schobert says it's on them. He seems very confident. Somebody moved too early. Somebody moved too early. With one second to go in the quarter. False start, offense, number one, five-yard penalty, 
still third down. The old bob of the head got Jalen Hurts. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about all he's done wrong today. But it's good because it gives the Philly fans something to be grumpy about. After three, Philadelphia 28, Tennessee 10. Injury. Baltimore trails Denver in a low-scoring game 9-3. to three. Pittsburgh leads Atlanta on the road 19-13. Chicago hanging on against Green Bay 19-17. The Jets make it a one-possession game against the Vikings. They trail 20-15. to 15, And it's Giants 20, Commanders 13 late in the fourth quarter, Mike. Here it's 28-10 Philadelphia. Game was seven all after one. 21 to 10 Eagles at halftime. Now 28-10 Eagles. Philadelphia has outgained Tennessee 411 to 152. The Eagles have thrown for 370 yards. Gained 41 on the ground. 66 rushing for Tennessee, 86 passing. The storyline is the Titans' leading rusher is Ryan Tannehill, three for 34. On third down and six, Hertz throws across the field. He's got it to Zach Pascal, who is tackled at the mark by McCrary. He appears to be just short. Eagles could kick the field goal to go up 21, but a touchdown and an extra point puts them four scores in front. So why not? Here's Hertz. He is 12 of 15 on the year on third and ones or fourth and ones. He is now 13 of 16 as he pounds it forward to the 13 yard line. Well, you have a pretty good feeling that's what they were gonna do there. Titans have no answers right now. They haven't had answers on offense, defense, or special teams in this ball game. It has been one of those days to this point. Brown and Smith to the right, both over 100 yards receiving. Going to give Sanders a chance at left guard, and Sanders will be taken down at the eight, picking up five. Tackle made by Byard, the Philadelphia native. Now that's more what they've been leaning on, what they leaned on again last week. And as you said, it's been exactly the opposite today going into the fourth quarter. Hertz has thrown for 380 yards. His career high is 387. Sanders on his right hip. Two tight ends to the left. Sanders with a carry met by Cole and dragged backwards after he picks up one yard. Well, now here comes a combat catch to the corner. Well, this has got to be going to Brown, right? Yes. Brown already eight catches, 119, two touchdowns. You think his best friend wants to give him a chance at a third? That's rhetorical. Brown with Hooker on him in the right slot. Two tight ends to the left. Now they move Stoll to the right in the pistol. Keeping it, Hurts. He was going to throw, but Adams hits him, and he has to just flip it out of bounds incomplete. And so the Titans stay alive with 12.24 to go in the game by forcing a field goal attempt. Not very well played over there on that side. That was, a, that was an option play back away from the strength of the formation. Played very well by the Titans. Going to be a 25-yard field goal for Elliott, who is 4 of 4 on extra points today. Make it 26. See, post is the holder. Something happened. Official timeout. Official timeout for the officials. Officials timeout to spot the ball. Fourth down. I know one thing Philly fans like to do is boo. Oh. It's almost been too good a day for them. 
25-yarder now as they respot the ball. Titans jump. Field goal is up, and it's good. But it looked like the Titans Here comes the offense back violated the, field. the neutral zone. Lovato, the snapper, is confident that he didn't do anything. But that's going to be enough for a first down, I think, if it's on the Titans. Kick was good, by the way. It is offside on the Titans. Now they're going to ask Nick Sirianni what he wants to do. He's going to go play offense. He's an offensive coach. Simmons was the man offsides, I'm told. Offside defense, number 98. Philadelphia has elected to enforce that penalty half the distance to the goal from the previous spot. It will remain fourth down. But it's going to put it at the four mm -hmm. or just inside the four. And they'll need about a half yard right in the middle of the field. So they're taking the points off the board to go for it on fourth down and a foot or a foot and a half. Everybody is up tight to help push. And sneaking is hers. I don't know. I, I think he's got it, but from this spot over here to from our right side, it looks like he made it. See where they put the ball down. He didn't get it as clearly as the last one. He's got that. Yeah, he's got that. First down. First and goal for the Eagles as they maintain possession with 11.48 to go. Two tight ends to the left. Two receivers tight to the right. Going to give it to Sanders at right guard. He's going to go into the end zone for a Philadelphia touchdown. Touchdown Eagles with 11.27 remaining. Miles Sanders with a three-yard run as he hits pay dirt once again. And Philadelphia has extended their advantage to 24 with the point pending. Moved the tight end in there to be able to insert, to be the lead blocker. And they just pushed it into the end zone. On for the extra point. A man who just had a field goal taken off the board due to a Titans penalty. And that is Elliott. Snap, set, his kick is up, and his kick is good. Philadelphia 35, Tennessee 10, 11.27 remaining in the game. As some of the crowd heads for the exit here at the link. forever you're right 16 plays 68 yards 951 off the clock yeah I mean it was that was a possession that felt like it lasted the whole evening still 1127 left in this game the Eagles up 35 10 this kick will go into the end zone and the Titans will take over first and 10 on the 25 Tannehill's coming back out as is Henry and the offensive line. Let's talk strategies. And let's talk going forward. Probably not gonna win this game today. Well, it's looking a little dim. Okay. You come out and run your offense and just try to get something going here. Sure. Not be as worried about hurry up and all of that. Oh, 
play fake. Screen, Akakwo, 25-30. Akakwo to the 35. Blanket chip with the tackle. I think he's just a little short of the first down. Titans are gonna get on the ball. First down. It is indeed a first down as the ball is touching the line. You are correct. Tannehill. Motions board in tighter on the right side. Gives Henry a carry on the right. Penalty marker down as Henry has three yards. Signaled on the Titans. Holding offense number 60. Ten-yard penalty. Replay first down. Tannehill, 12 of 19, 131. He has been hit a lot. Sacked six times in this game, by the way. And the penalties starting to add up for the Titans as well. Now seven for 82, and they did not have one in the first quarter. On first down, Tannehill firing complete to Hooper. Short gain up to the 29 as Tannehill was under heat. Tackle made by White, who's back in the game. Well, we talked about this front uh, at the beginning of the game, even before the game. The thing that had to happen was you've got to be able to control them now that they can just get in those track stances and tee off every time. Tannehill under pressure, throws complete. Akakwo again makes the catch at the 35. Dean with the tackle. Akakwo's fourth catch of the game. Now 68 yards. If you're looking for a bright spot in the Titans, it might be getting the ball to Chick for a second straight game. Well, he ran a nice route then. This is third down and 10. Tannehill. Dropping, under pressure, flushed out to his right, has to throw it in the dirt. He was trying to go in the general direction of Henry, but was being chased, and Edwards had good coverage on Henry, and so the punt team will have to come in. Another three and out for the Titans. Yeah, immediate, immediate, immediate pressure in his face then. Here's Covey, deep to catch another punt. He has had a fabulous day returning punts. Six for 105. Wow, that's a crushed kick. Just crushed. Hits on the three, spins backwards, and Board will down it at that point. Nice play by C.J. Board on an outstanding punt. 62 yards and it checks up inside the five. 35-10 the score, Philadelphia leading Tennessee, 940 remaining. It's Garner Minshew time. His picture is no longer in the Jacksonville airport, <laughs> but it's also no longer on a milk carton because he is getting to play today as the backup for Jalen Hurts, the team that obtained him, Philadelphia, at the end of last December. Fourth time he's played the game against the Titans. He hands off on the left side and running with the ball there is Gainwell and he is tackled by Edwards for no gain. Outside zone, he started to run the cutback. This guy's a real space player. He was looking for some space outside. Menchu got 22 starts under his belt in Jacksonville after being selected 178 overall in 2019. Urban Meyer was not interested in him and dealt him away on August 28th, 2021. Jacksonville was not interested in Urban Meyer either. Well, they have that in common. Running left, it's Boston Scott, run out of bounds by Avery. Virtually no gain on the play with 8.45 to go. It'll be third down and right at 10. 35-10, Philadelphia leading Tennessee. Garner Menchu started his college career at Troy, then went to Northwest Mississippi, then went to East Carolina. It played his last year for Mike Leach at Washington State. 
well traveled. See if he throws it from his end zone here. He is going deep and completing pass and having it dropped. His man had it. That's Pascal. And Pascal dropped the ball. And it's fourth down. Minshew put it right on him. It's a good throw. Pretty good defense over there by Avery, too, who helped Pascal by grabbing his arms and pulling them to his side. Well done by Pascal. Or well done by Avery, I should say. Titans going to try to block a punt here. They have 10 men set to rush Sipos. Snap is good. Punt is away. Board will field it at the 49 of the Titans to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35. And he will be run out of bounds inside the 35 at the 33. Lovato, the man who snapped it, will be credited with the tackle. So here comes Malik Willis. That was Malik Willis into the ball game. This is the first time in this ball game this field position has flipped a little bit. Malik Willis appearing in his fifth game this year. Passing numbers 12 of 30 for 141. No touchdowns, one interception, six sacks, two lost fumbles, 18 rushes for 64 yards. Julius Chestnut is in the backfield. Chestnut gets a carry on the right side and is taken down after picking up two yards. Titans have also got Corey Levin in the game at center. And at right guard now, they go with Dylan Ravens. They're on the ball. On second down and eight. Willis to throw, fires right side, got it complete to Board. Board is stopped immediately at the 25-yard line. Two yards short of the first down by Josiah Scott. Nice job by Malik. Got it, got the ball, got it out of his hands quick. Good throw. Malik has been more decisive in practice since starting the two games. It was as if just playing in those games gave him confidence as to what the job is. You can't manufacture experience, Mike. It all helps. Third and two. Willis going to keep it on the right side, get outside of the 20, and he will be forced out of bounds at the 17-yard line by Wallace. First down as the Titans have had a hard time on third downs in this game, now 3 of 12 with that conversion. The Eagles really crashed the mesh point then. Nice job by Willis being able to pull it out and get the first down because that mesh point was collision city there. Willis has Chestnut in the backfield with it. In the shotgun, Willis fires across the middle behind the receiver, Westbrook Akine, and incomplete. Westbrook Akine might have walked in with that one if he hadn't thrown it behind him. Titans have entered the Pinnacle scoring zone. For more on Titans Banking for Pinnacle, visit titansbanking.com for all the details. Willis still looking for his first career touchdown pass. Clock stop 6.15 to go in the game. Eagles lead 35-10. Three receivers to the left. Give Chestnut and Dean decks him for a loss. Read option. And Chestnut didn't have a chance. No chance. Backer shot through there really, really quick. Third down for the Titans. 12 yards to go, ball officially on the 19. Eagles 428 yards of total offense, Titans 185. Willis. Firing and missing his receiver, Woods, incomplete. Defended there by Ellis. Fourth down, Titans don't need a field goal, so they're going to go for it. A little low and wide there. A 
Kakwo checking in, replacing Ford. The Raven Clark is in the game at left tackle now, by the way. Former Eagle. On fourth down. Willis sprints out to his left, looking. Fires for Hilliard, and Hilliard is taken down inside the 10 at the nine yard line, ruled short of the first down. Ellis with the tackle. And the ball will go over on downs as Willis got away from the pass rush. Johnson was bringing the heat. Hilliard made the catch. But Ellis is able to get him down a full yard short of the first down. I thought Willis might have taken off with that one initially. 5.25 to go as the ball goes over on downs. Titans had a big fourth down conversion on their first touchdown drive. They converted a fourth and seven. Went down and scored to make it seven all. Gainwell on the left side, find some room. Tackle made by Schobert. A little counter handback play. First time we've seen that play out of their offensive ground game arsenal today. Haven't seen much of a ground game from them today. They haven't tried much. Today. It's all been through the air and very effectively through the air. Second and seven. Hertz ends his day 29 of 39, 383 touchdowns, sacked twice. Menchu is now in at quarterback with 450 remaining. Scott takes the handoff, and Rice takes him down for a loss. Monty Rice getting a chance to play some linebacker. Tackle for loss in the backfield. Good job by Rice, a very powerful, instinctive player. Good, good Ken diagnose. He had a guard pull across the center. He followed the guard, got out ahead of the block. Nice play for him. Ran in behind the puller. By the way, Ryan Tannehill's day ends 14 of 22, 141, and a touchdown sacked six times. Losing Traylon Burks on the touchdown pass did not help. He was knocked out on a ball that he caught for a 25-yard touchdown. Menchu to throw it, firing and completing. Outside the 20-yard line for a first down is Pascal. Avery with the stop with 3.48 to go. Deep comeback route by Pascal over there. Was able to stick his foot in the ground and come back to the ball, but past the line to gain. You know, you think about it. Menchu's a pretty good backup quarterback if you look around the league. Oh, no, excellent. To have started 22 games and, I mean, let's face it, he's got some Ryan Fitzpatrick in him. When he gets hot, he can really get hot. Yeah, and, and, and he said he had, he's got multiple starts in this game, quite a bit, in fact. Little hand back play. They go to Scott. Scott out to the 25-yard line, tackled there by Kalu, who's in the game at safety. Yeah, he called it in second counter handback play. Trying to get the linebackers flowing one way, hand it back the other. Eagles in no hurry. Have to run one more play before the two-minute warning. Menchu. As we mentioned, he's a guy who's been a lot of places. He has a lot of experience. He knows how to operate the offense. Going to give another carry on the right side to Scott. And he's out near the 30-yard line as we pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Titans Radio. The Eagles will have third down and one at their own 30 when we come back as we're at the two-minute warning. Your score, Philadelphia 35, Tennessee 10. 35 to 10 in this one. We will have stats, scores, and a full recap of Titans and Eagles. Titans Radio's locker room report coming up in a few minutes. 35-10.
Eagles have dominated play here today. 449 yards to Tennessee's 195. 66 plays so far to Tennessee's 50. So they have time of possession, 32-15 to 25-45. Third and one upcoming here. If the Eagles pick up this first down, they can then take a knee and end it. If the Titans stop them, then more than likely they will get the ball back. Menchu with Scott in the backfield. And Landon Dickerson pulls before the play starts. That was going to be uh, one back power O is exactly what that was going to be, and now it's not. Ball start, offense, number 69. Five-yard penalty, still third down. Eagles 12 penalties, 80 yards in this game. Surprisingly, though, Mike, that it hasn't really hurt them. It has not hurt them. Well, I guess when you outgame the opposition by 240, 254 yards. That's a fair point. <laughs> Running the hand back to the right. Scott turns it up the field. Multiple markers come in almost fittingly as he's tackled at the 30-yard line, would be short of the first down. It's got to be holding there on that pull. Holding offense, number 69, 10-yard penalty, still third down. Well, we mentioned the historical significance of this crew. Umpire Roy Ellison and field judge Merle Robinson normally work with Adrian Hill. The other four officials are from four different crews. So all seven officials today are black. It's only the fifth time in NFL history that this has happened. The only note that I had on Hill's normal crew with Ellison as the umpire is they had called 31 offensive holds in the last three games. And if I'm not mistaken, holds are usually called by the umpire and the referee. Always. Titans decline the penalty, fourth down and short. Punt team comes on with Cepos. Minute 52 remaining. Cepos with a little Australian kick. Board from the 23 to the 25, and he's taken down at the 28. Another nice tackle by Ellis. So you're Christian Ellis. They called you up because they need some depth on defense, linebacker, special teams. I think he's made the most of that opportunity with the way he's covered kicks today. Well, that's the way you get to collect a paycheck in this league. You get called up, you got to produce on game day. So you've now seen the soon-to-be 11-1 Eagles. What do you think, Dave McGinnis? Really good football team in all aspects of it, Mike. I mean, they are they're explosive offensively, and then defensively, they can rush and cover. They've got speed on defense, especially in the front seven. Willis is back in at quarterback. Willis, going to give it to Chestnut at left guard, and he's tripped as he goes through the hole by Ellis. Gain of three on the play. It'll be second down and seven with 90 seconds remaining. It's hard to win, get 10 wins this time of year in this league. I've been around a few teams that, that were at that, and they were good teams. Philly's a good team. Chestnut again at right guard. And Chestnut is out beyond the 35 to the 36, tackled by Scott. We're under a minute to play. It'll be third down and a long one. What did they rush for? 353 yards last week? At 363. 363. And today they throw for three, 386. They have five yards that they lost in sacks. It's a pretty powerful, pretty powerful team. You can do both. And they've done good things on special teams as well today. Third and short. Chestnut has the first down and more as he crosses the 40 to the 41. And Mike Frabel may try to run one more play. The Eagles start onto the field, and so Vrabel says, okay. And he heads over to shake hands with Nick Sirianni. 
who he knew in Kansas City when he was a player and Sirianni was just trying to make his way into the league. Today, Sirianni makes his way to 11 and one as the Eagles win over the Titans 35 to 10. Titans football 2022 on Titans radio. Today's exclusive Titans action brought to you by state water heaters. We do our best work at home and we have a full line of residential water.